top five players in the NBA. This is something new on my channel, but I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys. So here we are, the top five NBA players. We're going to start off here. Number five, James Harden of the Houston Rockets. So James Harden grew up as a scorer. Average 18 points per game, 7.5 rebounds a game, 3.5 assists in his senior year. McDonald's All-American. Then he went to Arizona State for two seasons and then being drafted third overall in the 2009 NBA draft by the OKC Thunder. Played three seasons in Oklahoma City before being traded into, to Houston in one of the worst trades in NBA history. He is now playing his fifth year in Houston and has never averaged below 25.4 points per game after being traded. Right now, he's leading the league in assists per game with a whopping 11.7 in 43 games this year. And he has never shot below 80% from the line, never shot below 43% from the field since his rookie year. Also, never averaged less than a steal a game game he's a four-time nba all-star a two-time all nba first team might have got jipped out of a couple in his nba career nba six men of the year and runner up to steph curry in the mvp voting in 2015 and he comes in at the number five spot Number four comes in as Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook spent two years at UCLA and was drafted number four overall in the 2008 NBA draft by the Seattle Supersonics one year before they became the OKC Thunder. Russell Westbrook is a five-time NBA All-Star, two-time NBA All-Star Game MVP, and the scoring champion in the 2015 NBA season. Right now in the NBA, he's averaging a triple-double. Everyone's watching the triple-double watch, and he's averaging 30.9 points per game, 10.5 assists per game, and 10.7 rebounds per game as we're pretty much halfway through the NBA season. Russell Westbrook right now, I don't think in everybody's mind, would be the front runner to win MVP, but the Thunder are six in the Western Conference, so that's what's drawing him back from being the unanimous MVP in the NBA this season. One of the most controversial players in the NBA is going to come in at the number three spot. You either love him or you hate him, Stephen Curry. This is Stephen Curry's seventh year in the NBA, and he's been one of the most lethal shooters in the league in the past half decade. Stephen Curry has never averaged below 1.5 steals per game or 5.3 assists per game in his seven-year NBA career. He has numerous NBA records like the NBA regular season season record for three-pointers made, NBA regular season record for three-pointers attempted, NBA record for three-pointers made in a single game, and NBA record for most points scored in an overtime period. Stephen Curry is a two-time MVP, a one-time NBA champion, three-time time all-star two-time all-nba first team and the 2016 nba scoring leader with all the firepower in golden state he is having a down year this year technically a down year for him but he's still recognized as a top five player in the league so I asked you guys on Twitter for the number two and number three spot. I was I, ha I was having a debate with myself either if I wanted to put Steph Curry or Kevin Durant here. And I asked you guys on Twitter and you guys voted for Kevin Durant. So follow me on Twitter if you guys want to maybe participate in any of these. If I'm having a debate between two spots, I will ask you guys on Twitter for your opinion. So like I said, number two spot comes in as Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant averaged 20.3 points per game as a rookie. 25.3 points per game as a sophomore and 25.4 points per game when he only played 27 games in his injury riddled 2015 NBA season. Besides those three seasons, he has an average less than 27.4 points per game, 6.8 rebounds per game, and hasn't shot less than 46% from the field up until this year. Like I mentioned with Steph Curry, with all the firepower in Golden State, he's still averaging 26 points per game 8.6 rebounds per game and 1.7 blocks per game along with 4.7 assists per game this year the six-time nba all-star 2012 all-star game mvp and the 2014 mvp comes in at the number two spot so now I'm here with my honorable mentions section of the video. And this is the people that could have been number five, but in my eyes, they weren't. But they absolutely, you have a case for them to put them at number five, number four, even number three. It's all what you guys think. So you could have put Anthony Davis here, Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, or Jimmy Butler. If you guys thought one of those players should be here in the top five, let me know in the comments. Um, and we can have like a debate. I'm down to listen. I've listened to everyone's comments, and I want you guys to let me know if you thought one of those players should have made it here into the top five. So we had James Harden at five russell westbrook at four steph curry at three kevin durant at two and here is the number one spot of my top five player or my number one player in the nba right now 
So here we are, the number one spot, and I think you all know who it's going to be. It. It's nobody else but LeBron James. Three-time NBA champion, three-time finals MVP, four-time MVP, 12-time All-Star, 10-time All-NBA first team. The man who dethroned the 73-win Warriors to win Cleveland's, uh, to win Cleveland the 2016 NBA championship. He has done it all. People consider LeBron James as a top two player of all time and is neck and neck with Michael Jordan as the best player of all time. LeBron James has been in the NBA for 14 seasons and it seems like he hasn't aged one bit. Besides his rookie year, his worst NBA season came in the 2014-2015 NBA season and he still averaged 25.3 points per game, 7.4 assists per game, and 6.0 rebounds per game while still bringing Cavs, the Cavs, to the finals with no Kyrie Irving and no Kevin love lebron james comes in at the number one spot so that is going to be it for me for my first top five video here on my channel if you guys enjoy this and want to see more smash that like button show me your support and i will do plenty of these i have so many ideas on more top fives to do in the future like i said if you thought a player like your favorite player or a player that should be named in this top five let me know in the comment section down below and also if you agree with my list let me know so go smash that like button if you guys want to see more of these that's gonna be for me for my first top five video hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace